Welcome back. This is a My Deal Stash unboxing of the Android 4.0 mini PC. I am just going to open the box and show you what comes inside. Maybe in a future tutorial, if I get any comments or show any interest, I could uh, plug it up to my TV and make a tutorial on that. Alright, so here it is. This is the Android 4.0 mini PC. Um, some product features on this guy. Has an all winner A10 1 gigahertz Cortex A8 high speed processor. Seems a little faster than that though when I plugged it into my um, computer. I was pretty impressed with the, the speed of this little device. And for only like 40 or $45 with, with the shipping, it's, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, they have newer and faster ones out maybe now, but they cost more money too. So, you know, if you're on a budget and you like playing Angry Birds and you just want to get on the web and maybe browse some YouTube, this thing's not bad. Also in the future, I think I'm going to try and port like Ubuntu on this or see what I can do. Try and get some kind of uh, ARM revision going on this, maybe Slackware or something. But um, here it is. Um, you can see it's got a USB port there. There's also a power port. Um, that's a mini USB port there. So MK802 plus Android mini PC. There's also a lot more little goodies that come in this bag. I bought this on Amazon. The link is in the description box below. But they give you a lot of cables. Um, they give you a couple mini USB to USB cables. I'm holding a mini USB to USB cable in my hand right now. They give you a HDMI cable. I'm glad they include one of these. HDMI cables are the more expensive of the bunch of cables that are in this box. It's good that they include it though because the, the HDMI connector on this Android 4.0 mini PC is a female connector. So you do require a cable to plug into the mini PC to plug into your TV or other HDMI device. Here is a female USB to male mini USB adapter. It's nice to give you one of those. Here is another USB, two mini USB cable. Um, I was reading in the specs and uh, I thought they were only um, supposed to give one of those or even none. Actually, didn't didn't say in the specs that it comes with a mini USB cable. So that's really cool. They give you two of these. Why not? It's awesome. So the, there they are. There's the two cables. They give you a power adapter. Very handy, you need the power adapter to um, power this guy on. It's not powered by HDMI, it doesn't work that way, so you do need to plug it in. One thing I notice, it's kind of silly, there's no, there's no power button. This guy turns on once you plug him in. Show you where the mini PC cable goes here. The mini USB connector. You can plug it in right there. All the connections feel good. Like I, I tried plugging in the cables and it doesn't feel like it's too tight or too loose. It's all it all snaps together really nicely. For $40, $45 range, I mean, it seems like a really cool device. Smallest computer I have, I've ever seen. I'm sure there'll be smaller, faster ones in the future, but for right now, for this price point, it's, it's a really neat little guy, it's a really neat little device. 